Hi, I'm Jenny Spangler, and I'm one of the coaches with the Chicago Area Runners Association and the Boston Performance Training Program. While in Boston, as part of the CARA program, you're able to spend time with other CARA runners through a shakeout run and other social events. You're like you're part of a Chicago running family that supports each other, and now you're back home. What do you do now? Well, the key here with your post-marathon recovery is patience. Believe me, if you're patient post-marathon, it will pay you back dearly later on. It typically takes two to three weeks to recover from a marathon. If you start back too soon, you risk poor performances and overtraining symptoms. I'm going to give you a few tips for the 24 hours after your marathon to help with your post-marathon recovery. Number one, focus on rest and eating healthy, nutritional foods. As soon as you cross the finish line, try to start getting some nutrition into your body, whether it's a bagel or a piece of fruit. Most runners, including myself, do not like to eat right after you cross the finish line. Your stomach just doesn't feel like it can take anything in at that moment. And that's okay, but grab a few items at the end and carry them along and try to eat them as soon as possible. Even if you just take a few bites here and there, that is better than nothing because your body needs to get the nutrients in as soon as possible. Number two, ice baths are great ways to help reduce inflammation in your body. So when you get back to your room, try to sit in a tub of cold water for 10 to 15 minutes. Number three, light massages do wonders for helping stimulate the blood flow through your legs again. Make sure it is a light massage, do not get a deep massage. You can do that later on. And number four, if you can do a light activity the day after the marathon, whether it's a short swim or a walk or even a short you know, shuffle jog. This will help get the blood flow once again stimulated and will really aid in your recovery. Now some runners experience a mental letdown after Boston. You've spent all this time training, you've had this great time at this world-class event and now it's over. You're kind of at a loss for you know, what to do during your post-marathon recovery. So one of the things I suggest you do is spend time doing fun activities with family and friends. Maybe take a yoga class or try out a spin class. And also another thing that I think is important to do is to jot down notes about your marathon training cycle and the race itself. Maybe list some of the things that went well or some of the things that maybe didn't work so well. And this will really help you uh, prepare for your next marathon. The most important thing right now is to just rest, relax, and enjoy a few weeks of downtime. Once again, my name is Jenny Spangler, and I'm one of the coaches for the CARA Boston Performance Training Program. For more information on this program and other CARA running programs, please visit our website at www.cararuns.org. Have a great run at Boston.